Hi, my name is Deborah Dixon Kenzer, and I am the founder of Living with Lupus Online Video Magazine. Here at Living with Lupus Online Video Magazine, we, it is designed to educate those who have lupus, those that have someone that they care for with lupus, and some and those that even those that that know someone who has lupus. We are determined to help find a solution to coping with lupus, not just through my journey, but through your journey as well. If you're watching this video right now, I would like for you to ask questions, send me your questions, your comments, or anything about lupus that you'd like to know about, and I'd be more than happy to elaborate on what I know about lupus and what I can do to you know help you cope with your own journey while you're living with lupus this is not a one person show although I may be the one person that you see and everything like I said this is it it's really about the journey that all of us go through that have lupus I've had lupus since I was 12 years old when, before I was 12 years old, before they even diagnosed me with lupus and everything, I went through a lot of sicknesses. I was always sick all the time. And it wasn't a colicky baby or anything like that. But it was more like I got sick more than my brother and sisters did. I was not able to eat a lot of things that would, you know, sit well with my body and everything. And then... There was a lot of things that went on with me that some people would say, she is really, really sick. She can't even cope with the world. Well, I could cope with the world. It was just that the things that are in this world cannot always cope with me. And it's because of my lupus, like changing of the weather and everything. They always said that I had the flu all the time. I never had the flu like that. I mean, I, I may have gotten the flu, I may have even, even gotten a cold, but my colds didn't last, you know, three to five days. My colds lasted a month, two months, sometimes three months. It was harder for me to get rid of my cold than it was for my brother and my sisters to get rid of their cold and everything. So. I spent a lot of time in the hospital when I was younger. They thought I had pneumonia three times. You know, um, I spent so much time in the hospital that everybody knew my name. <laughs> That's how much time I spent in the hospital. If you spent that much time in the hospital and you're not sure what's going on or anything like that and you've been diagnosed with lupus, leave a comment. Ask your questions. And I can tell you what I've done since I've been older and everything to deal with it and cope with it and live a long life because I was only told that I was not going to live past 14 years old. I'm 50 years old now, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm so happy that I'm here and I'm able to help you through your journey, you know. So I just want you to feel free to ask the questions. Don't be shy. Don't worry. I'm not going to bite. You have a long, lovely day, and just understand that you are not alone through this journey while living with lupus. Good night.